it's interesting to me because the one thing that you cannot really argue with is the increased exposure. I'm always on this stage saying, wow, we are surrounded by a lot of chemicals. Mm -hmm. A lot of chemicals that weren't around 50, 60 years ago. Clearly there's a lot that people are unsure about, but according to a study just published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, Americans' exposure to glyphosate is increasing. It's a UCSD study, School of Medicine. The researchers found that human exposure to glyphosate has increased approximately 500% since the introduction of GMOs. Now, UCSD professor, the lead author in the study, Paul Mills, says our exposure to these chemicals has increased significantly over the years, but that most people are unaware that they are consuming them through their diet. In my mind, it looks like we're dragging our feet a little bit. In 2015, more than half of European Union countries banned their farmers from growing genetically modified crops, also known as GMOs. The EU Parliament has called for glyphosate weed killer to be completely phased out over the next five years. They will vote to ban or to extend the license for this product before the end of 2017. Uh, I'm not sure why we're falling behind here in this country. Well, I think in general, when you look at the way that countries deal with these issues, it is very different. I do want to mention that Monsanto provided us with the following statement. While we have sympathy for anyone who is suffering from or who has lost a loved one to cancer, glyphosate is not the cause. Hundreds of scientific studies over 40 years have determined that glyphosate is safe for use, and no regulatory agency in the world has concluded that glyphosate is carcinogenic. The IARC opinion is a complete outlier and has been shown to be based on manipulated data. Glyphosate is a vital and safe tool for millions of farmers around the world. That statement comes from Scott Partridge, the Vice President of Strategy.